Your biological prime time is just as it sounds. This theory is actually based on your own personal peaks of energy levels, uh, your own focus throughout the day, and a lot of things can can factor into this. It could be what you're eating, how well you're sleeping, how much exercise you've had, and so on and so forth. So this particular method method ugh, is very personal to you and you alone. Now, if you want to try this, it's a little different than the other methods we've just talked about. Um, that's because instead of enacting on something right now, for the rest of the work week, you're going to take notes of your natural energy levels. So over the next work week, take notes of your energy levels throughout the day and how they fluctuate. I think you will see a pattern emerge over time. So you probably won't get a sense for day today or even today and tomorrow because there are way too many factors that can maybe you don't sleep well tonight tomorrow's totally shot so take a week at least to see if you can identify some some patterns about how you work throughout the day i did this for myself over a four week period and it was pretty clear to me that i have way more energy in the morning by three in the afternoon i crash now that's unfortunate because I definitely still have client work to do at three in the afternoon, but using this method, I was able to kind of shift how I do things in the day. I now focus on my heaviest frogs, if you will, call back to an earlier lecture. I focus on my highest priorities, my biggest tasks, the things that I know are hardest to do or will take the most out of my concentration. And I do those in the morning. And that's because I'm at my most hyped and most focused. Then after lunch, I start to kind of see a little bit, huh, so I'll still work on some client tasks. But by three in the afternoon, by four o'clock especially, I could be done with the workday. Now, as I said, life doesn't work that way. But by three and four in the afternoon, what I don't schedule for myself is things that take a lot of concentration. So what I will do is more back office stuff. So maybe I'm planning out what I'm going to work on tomorrow. Maybe I'm making lists of things that are looming deadlines. Maybe I'm just reading through my inboxes and responding to emails. But whatever it is, I'm trying not to do my highest, heaviest, biggest lift in the afternoon because frankly, I just don't have the brain capacity for it and that's okay. And you might be completely different. You might find that you're not really a morning person. Maybe you're a little sluggish. Maybe you want to just ease into it and answer emails and and kind of plan out the rest of your day. And then in the evening, you're hitting it hard. This is a very personal lecture, just personal to you. So your homework over the next week is to just take stock of how you feeling in the morning, how you feeling in the evening, what times do you generally get tired? What times does your brain start to get fatigued? And then I want you to see if you can schedule, time block if you will, but schedule your biggest items during your highest peak performance. So whatever that is to you. I'm attaching a worksheet to this lecture as well, so you can kind of take note. You don't have to use it, but it's just a simple way that you might take note of your peak times, your downtimes throughout the day. So if you guys enjoyed this biological prime time, give it a shot.